Hey, I'm finally actually building a gaming rig instead of getting off my laptop, which I'm actually using to capture this video as I speak. Um, just got the case in today and bought all the components off a guy on Skate Perception. Um, Jason Lindquist, user is Jason808. Um, I opened up the box just to make sure everything wasn't broken, but I haven't gone and unpacked um, the majority of the stuff. All I checked was like motherboard and fan and stuff. Yeah, the box is still completely sealed up. Um, I'll open up everything and show it to the camera and say what it is real quick, and then I'll do the same for the case. This is the motherboard. It's an MSI P6N SLI Platinum. It's a couple of years old, but it should be good enough, or it will be good enough. The GPU, it's a um, EVGA, um, the GeForce 8800 GTS. Um, kind of dusty, just like the motherboard is, so I'll have to open this up and clean everything out. Uh, seems in great condition. Dual level DVI out. CPU cooler. Um, Xena or Zalsman. Yeah, Xena. It has a shitload of dust bunnies in it, so this is going to have to be cleaned out. Um, other than that, seems to be good in condition. Mounting hardware is in the box. Memory is G Skill. Two of them, one gigabytes. Seagate Barracuda hard drive. All that's out, I'm gonna clean all that out before I actually install it in this case, but first I'm gonna unbox the case. Um, yeah, case is huge. Has plenty of room in it. Holy shit. I'm going to bring all the components outside, clean them up, and then I'm going to shoot a time lapse with my DSLR of me putting this thing together. So that will be either today or tomorrow. So I might be wearing different clothes. Hey, I just got done cleaning about all the components, um, or all the ones that actually were dusty. The fan, as you saw before, was atrocious, had tons of buildup, like all behind the blades, it was just like a thick mat of dust and hair and God knows what else. But that's all cleaned up, you can actually see through it like you should and air will actually be able to pass through. The um, bottom of the heat sink was completely covered in thermal paste that was like all dried up and crusty. So I got all that off with um, some lint-free cloth and a um, little bit of rubbing alcohol, 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. Um, so yeah, this is my first ever like full computer build. I pretty much installed all the parts inside of the computer except for the motherboard. So that will, this might be actually interesting to watch. So I was originally going to shoot this with my DSLR, which is here, I was originally gonna shoot a time lapse with the DSLR, but uh, right now the battery's dead in it, so that's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna speed up uh, the footage that I'm shooting off this. So, yeah.
Hey, so for the past couple days I've been working on the computer. Um, I've gone through a couple little problems. The memory or the RAM, normally on CPUs you have to install it every other slot. So slot one, then slot three, and then you go back and do slot two, slot four. This motherboard, for some reason, it's you do slot one, slot two, then slot three, slot four. So that made the OS not start for about a day, which kind of made me depressed and thinking like, oh wow, this isn't, this was a complete waste of 600 bucks. But here's a look at the case. I got everything all fixed. Um, yeah, here's better luck because I gave a really crappy look earlier on in the video. This front of the case, 230 millimeter fan here, six drive bays, one has my DVD drive in it, two, and then another two, so four, USB ports, FireWire port in the middle, eSATA, microphone, then um, headphones, power, and then hard drive activity. Nice little tray up here for like cell phones, iPods, whatever, but I'll just throw it on my desk, I don't care. Another 230 millimeter fan here. On the side is the huge window with the high airflow logo on the side. Um, the thumb screws that belong on the sides to keep the side on um, are extremely hard to screw in, so I don't even bother with them because like, I need a pair of pliers to get them in because the threads always cross, so I just have it Velcroed on. So, take that off. Inside, you can see um, the 700 watt OCZ technology power supply, my GeForce 8800 GTS video card, the CPU cooler with the 2.66 gigahertz dual core duo processor underneath, my two one gigabyte six of RAM installed in the way that I guess the computer likes it, my DVD drive, the back of it's over there, and then a 320 gigabyte um, Seagate hard drives right there. Powering it on, that's how the lights are. I'm planning to remove those green lights and replace them with blue ones, and then remove the four red lights that light up that fan and replace those with blue ones. Then run like a cold cathode there and a cold cathode here um, in like a blue. And then tint the windows also. So. All said and done, this case will look pretty cool for a gaming editing rig. Um, over here, you can see it's starting up still. Um, but it's running Windows 7. There we go, starting Windows. So, running Windows 7, which is really, really nice. I like it a lot more than Vista or XP. So, yeah, that's my new computer for editing and some games. I don't really game that much. I use my Xbox when I do. Um, but thanks for watching this video. There will be more skate videos to come. My collarbone's still healing a little bit so I can't film that much but I try it when I can. So see you later.